Good day everybody, Doug Walsh here with your lunch hour lowdown. Today we are talking about trailer loading. So this is Misty here, and so my goal is to have her walk on the trailer. So see how she wants to go on. I'm, I appreciate that she's already committed and wants to get on that trailer, but we also want a horse that's gonna listen to you. We don't want a horse that doesn't wanna go on, but we also don't, don't want a horse that wants to go on when they wanna go on. So it's about them going on when we ask them to go on. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point with my left hand, and I'm going to ask her to go ahead and load up. So she goes onto the trailer by herself. I'm leaving this lead line to the left here right now for a reason. Normally I'd throw that over her back, but I wanna show you guys that when it comes to getting off the trailer, uh, the best way to teach them to back off the trailer. Um, and that's through a little tug of their tail. And I say this is my way that works for me. I think it works for a lot of people and it's a, a good thing to use um, when you untie your horse and you undo the butt bar. It's important that when we put that butt bar up, so if I just put my line right through here right now, actually I'll just come up here like this, throw this over her back, take this, take this butt bar, see how she's not touching it at all. So if I have the butt bar up and you get your horse wants to constantly hit the butt bar. So you want them to not want to hit this and lean on it. So, and then you have those horses that when you go to take them off the trailer, as soon as they hear the butt bar wiggle, they go, oh man, it's time to go back. And so you're like, you're in this rush to get them off. So a good thing to do is if she's up there, I'm gonna wiggle this thing around. And because if, if, that's, if that's a trigger for your horse to back up, we want them to get used to that this isn't what they have to hit. So if she goes to walk backwards, I would tap her on the hind before she got to the butt bar so she doesn't rely on this. She gets lighter to the pressure going forward. I explain this in a lot more detail on my, uh, on my website at naturalhorsemanship.com and I also have some videos up on, on YouTube. But so now that she's on the trailer, I'm gonna ask her to come off the trailer. So I'm going to take the butt bar down. You notice she doesn't go anywhere. I don't have to worry about that. So I can come in here and grab my line and now I can ask for the tail and now she knows that I'm asking. So I haven't put any pressure on this line on the left at all. I'm just asking her to back up, back up, back up. Now, if this line is over her back like this, like when, on, when I put it on inside, she's gonna back up. I'm gonna have my line waiting for me right here. You notice I backed her up off several feet off the back of the trailer because I want her to be straight. I don't want her to get off here and think that she's gonna turn and fall off. That could be an injury waiting to happen. So I hope you found this video um, educational. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. But remember, it's important that they can load on their own. It's important that they can stand on their own without the butt bar being up. And when you place that butt bar up, that they don't rely on it to lean against it. So we want this to be a happy environment for them, not that they feel like they're claustrophobic when they get on there, that they're just happy to go anywhere. So I hope you found this video educational. Take care, have a great day. Wait for our next lunch hour lowdown. Take care.